young lady. I know over the years a number of people came to look at the place but I'm not surprised no one ever moved in because the place is so badly kept but I don't give a shite because I just want the neighbours to think I'm getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> but you look out you see things um, uh, there's a woman down the road and um, the second her husband goes to work another car come, pulls up and a guy um, calls at her door she answers she's wearing black lace bra black lace knickers. Normally I'm not one to judge but what I saw through that letterbox <laughs> and uh, then her husband he passed away at the funeral um, she was at the top of the church and people were queuing up to express their sympathies then when it came to my turn she, uh, she goes did you know my Jack I says yeah I just, just met him there last week she says how, how was he what did he say I said he seemed grand he was there isn't it great I can't sell the life insurance <laughs> <laughs> there's, uh, there's another woman down the road she's an infomaniac she can't help but have sex with every man she sees um, then, but then, when, then, when, um, then when she disappeared, a lot of people were saying, oh, her husband found out, oh, her husband, oh, oh, her husband he chopped her up into disposable pieces. But I like to think that she went off with the bin man. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I, I mean, Hoover broke, so I went into Harvey Norman's looking for a new one. And um, I, on the way over, to the Hoover section was on the far side, so on the way over I stopped to admire the flat screen television. So I was imag imagining what it, would, what it would be like to have one, different places I could put it. Then the sales guy came over and he goes, How many inches are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> he says, Excuse me, I think you misunderstand my need. I'm looking for something that's good at sucking. <laughs> I only went in there looking for a Hoover. I nearly went home I nearly went home with a steamer. <laughs> I met a gay man, he tells me he's a pilot. I said, uh, what do you think of my bottom? He said, I roger that. <laughs> I got a job in a nursing home, one of the elderly patients, she passed away and left me all her money. Her husband said he wanted to contest the will because he was married to her for 50 years. I told him not to bother because I know her since she's in nappies. <laughs> and then to cheer him up, I brought him on an all expenses paid over to, um, all expenses paid trip to America. On the plane over, all he did was whinge and moan. I'm not joking you, I felt like putting a pillow over his face as well. <laughs> And then, and then we were going through passport control, the airport police there, what's the purpose of your visit? I said, well I'm, I'm driving to Las Vegas and as for this fella here, I'm dropping him off at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and then when I came back to, back to Dublin, I found out that they had a son, and I think he was on to me, he was there going, what did you do with my mom and dad? And then, um, I, so I got a rope and I wrapped it around his neck and I hung him in the garden. <laughs> So, it is true, people do die in trees. <laughs> Very good, Mark. <laughs> boom, boom. Um, I, um, I had trials for Liverpool football team. I, I remember coming on as a, um, as, I remember coming on as a substitute, a half-time substitute, and um, this is the Sky Sports commentary. We were losing them um, 7-0. This game looks over, Jeff. 7-0 Bolton Wanderers. Liverpool have brought on new kid Cahill. He gets his first touch. He plays the ball. It's a striker. Goal! 8-0 Bolton Wanderers. <laughs> <laughs> so that didn't work out too good. So nowadays I like to sit at home and watch the football highlights with a pal of mine. He has a stutter. His name's... <laughs> Dave, Dave. <laughs> Dave, Dave's the type of fella, he, he, he'll tell you he's doing one thing and then he'll do something completely different. We were in the queue signing up for um, Strictly Come Dance and I said, Dave, what dance are you doing? He goes, I'm doing the cha-cha-cha. And then he stuck his name down for the Charleston. <laughs> <laughs> I took up the ballroom dancing myself. I thought I was getting the hang of it. But my partner, she, she said she wanted me to be a bit more like Patrick Swayze. So I stuck worms up my nose and let her bury me. <laughs> I, I was at a party, a free gaff, and um, the, the, the guy that invited me, he was talking to the only girl in the place. He comes over to me and goes, have you any rubbers? I says, sure. It's obviously no use to me.